There are so many houses for sale right now. How do you know which one's a good deal? It's kind of overwhelming. So I'll break down three things to look for if you want to get a good deal. There are so many people searching. There are investors that spend 60 hours a week looking for homes to flip or rent out. So the competition is pretty stiff. You as a starter, you want to look for the pictures. If it has really nice professional pictures, I guarantee you everybody else is looking at it too. If you find a house that has smartphone pictures, think twice about it. It might actually be kind of nice. You want to go take the time to go scope it out or read the description or look at the area. That's what I do if I want to flip homes or I'm trying to find a diamond in the rough. Days on market. Okay guys, everybody keeps asking me, can I lowball this house? The answer is no, you can't unless it's been on the market for more than 30 days, preferably 45. If you're a seller and you just put your house on the market and and you get a lowball offer and it's been like two days, you're not going to take that offer. You're probably going to be offended by it. So the answer is, is no, you can't. Look for homes that have been 30 days on the market and have poor pictures. Those are the ones that get overlooked by everybody else. Those are the ones that you can lowball on. And unfortunately, a lot of the times, those are the ones that are probably not very good listings anyway. But like I said, it's a competitive market here in LA. And finally, you want to look at location. If you see a beautiful flip remodeled home with all the bells and whistles, that you, you want to make sure that it's in a good location. A lot of these homes are either near freeways, on the main street, or in a poor area. Why? Because the investors that bought it and are flipping it are probably getting it at a lower price. On the other hand, if you find a poor house in a really good area, you want to get that too. You know what they say in real estate, it's really annoying, but it is true. Location, location, location. That's right. You can always change your house. You can change your floor plan. You can change your freaking kitchen, but you can't change the location. Um, when the market goes up, they go up first. When the market goes down, houses in great location hold their value a lot longer. On top of that, it's going to be really easy to sell if you do want to sell it. So those are the three things to look for when looking for a deal. The reason I keep it short and sweet because it's like I said, it is a seller's market. It's pretty competitive. Finding a good deal, it's really hard. You have people looking at it all day. Anyways, let me know if you're looking for an aggressive realtor who's young, already ranked in the top percentiles of all the realtors here, I'm the guy and you'll see why.